I'm happy to have you here because the coronavirus obviously has awesome. got uh, a lot of people yeah. just worried and yeah. not yeah. really sure what to do. Right. <clears throat> and right. really, yeah. I've got. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, no, I didn't mean that. No, no, that was. I was clearing my throat. I was clearing my throat. I was clearing my throat. I promise. I was clearing. <laughs> well, what are the. What steps do you think that we should have? Like, There's I, a lot of wacky stuff about. Yeah. Uh, Is there anything you can say to calm and, us down or. Yeah, look, I, I think that. What we know right now is that um, it is a new kind of flu, and it's, a, and it's serious because we don't know much about it. We don't exactly understand how it's transmitted. Apparently, it's quite easy to transmit, and we don't have a vaccine yet for it like we do with the um, yeah. seasonal flu. And I have to add, if you haven't gotten a seasonal flu shot, get it now because yeah. the best guessing by the experts is that it could slow down or help if this other virus, um, you come in contact with it. Yeah. Were you uh, surprised with how the uh, Trump administration handled it? Or? I wish I could say I was surprised. I, um, <laughs> I you know, this, this is something that you can't just insult or pretend is a hoax, uh, despite how hard he's trying. Uh, you really do have to listen to people who actually know something. There's a terrible shortage of, of testing kits. They need to make sure that state and local health departments and governors and mayors and others have the resources they need with hospitalization. So there's a lot of work to be done. And, uh, you know, if, if he will quit calling it a hoax and actually let the experts do their job, I think that'll work out better. Did you, uh, and then hopefully they do that. Did, how did you think Trump was going to be when he became president? Did you go like, Maybe he might um, be. You know, Jimmy, I. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I, so I, I gotta tell you, um, I really hoped he'd be better than I thought he was gonna be. I really did. Here, here's what I, I thought. I mean, obviously, I was devastated about the outcome, but I thought, okay, you know, the job itself is so incredibly overwhelming, uh, it should be awe inspiring. And so, there's an opportunity for him to kind of rise to the occasion. And between the election and the inauguration, that's what I was hoping. And then I went to the inauguration, and that speech he gave was so divisive. The language used, carnage in the street, the lying about the size of the crowd, um, my hope that it would be better than I thought it would be vanished completely that day. And yeah. so, you know, we are where we are now. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about uh, uh, better things. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> Is yeah, we it? talked about virus. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, this, is, yeah. this is the new me. I've changed my total <laughs> oh, format. Wow, yeah. I can't so, it. Uh, but let's. I, I heard that you're starting a podcast. Is this true? Yes, it is true. Yeah. This is exciting. Yeah, very exciting. I like this. Very exciting. Why? What made yeah. you want to do this? You know, a bunch of uh, different offers came to me, and and uh, I thought, you know, it would be fun. I love talking to people, and I like being on your side instead of my side for a change. I yeah. get to ask the questions. I also had really incredibly positive experiences with uh, Howard Stern and Conan O'Brien when I went on their podcast. Well, oh, yeah. uh, obviously Howard's radio show, which is like a very long podcast, two hours and 20 minutes. No. And yes, that's how long I was on. Two hours and 20 minutes. Wow. And I think finally, you know, all of us were just exhausted. But uh, <laughs> and I thought... He's great, know, though, huh? He is an amazing interviewer. He really is. I'm, I mean, I'd never been on his show. He told me, see, if you'd come on my show before, you would have won. And so <laughs> maybe he's right. I mean, he probably is. Um, but it was, it was a fascinating experience. So when people came and said, hey, would you like to do that? I said, well, give it a try. See what happens. I think you're going to be great yeah. at it. Yeah. Uh, I, I do. I do. Well, um, you come on my show sometime? I would love to come on okay. the show. Done. Book. Okay. All I right. Would, so I would, totally, I would booking, love to come on. I'm booking Jimmy Fallon uh, on my, uh, I, I, my I got, yet to be named podcast yeah uh, uh -huh. on and on and on uh, I said. and it's on and on and on